Okay, anyway, I don't want to go too much further into it, so I just want to talk a little bit about it, but you can't see it in a personal way. It's there as a generational factor, and then you see how that, through those two things coming together, how they tend to affect which planets, which house, which sign is affecting which house, and what planets are being affected by this special view. If it hits Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, Sun, Moon, you'll start to see all these accumulated effects. And if you're allowing the 10 degree orb of the moon, 20 degrees every three months, you know, every, every week, Neptune, so the moon is going to be squaring these two things. So Mercury's three month cycle, so about every three weeks, it would be hitting one of these when it's going on. And then, so as it starts, to, as they start to separate, people are born and are not so caught and they start to see them distinct from each other. As opposed to people who were just before the conjunction came. These things, these are outer timings. We'll get to them more with the transits and the timings and see them. But when you're looking, when you get to these outer plants, you see it historically, maybe hysterically, but basically historically. And then you see the repercussions coming down to generations. And you see how that within this generation, this person is seeing this. Right now, if you go to look on symbols, if you get Pinterest or you get some of the places that are giving you the symbols on the web, you get pictures, all these symbols for tattoos, and they have all these mystical symbols that people want to put on there so their tattoos to prove that they're mystical. Well, that's a very different thing than going in a cave and staying alone for a few months with nothing to show for it but your inner mysticism. Okay, now Neptune isn't going to, well, it's funny. Neptune and Pluto, they used to think Neptune, uh, Pluto is an escaped moon of Neptune because of the way it goes in and out of Neptune's orbit. So for most of the time, 165 years, Neptune's just doing its orbit around, but and Pluto is 265 year cycles goes around, but there's a time when Neptune is closer, 22 years every, out of every 500 where Neptune is closer to um the sun then pluto we just went through that the last 20 years of the, of the last century had neptune was the furthermost planet and pluto was the closer so the harsh reality of pluto this normally affected the visions suddenly the harsh reality was more real and the visions became more distant and neptune was influencing pluto more than pluto was influencing neptune now the clues moved out again beyond the orbit of neptune Neptune doesn't influence Pluto, Pluto's influencing Neptune, so the reality is influencing the vision, whereas before the vision was influencing the reality. Words. But there is a distinct difference in the socialness or the beliefness, the visionariness of from 84 to the end of the century, or 88 to the end of the century. No, it was 80, but 84. Um, Neptune was closer, and then at the end of the century, now Neptune was further out again. So um, you can't see these as personal influence. These are big power complexes and social complexes. They're in positions of people who are, they would be prominent in people's positions who are prominent in the extreme momentum forward of the world. Like who's running countries or who's setting up this or that, like influence of that. It's, it's really hard to see, but normally, I mean, Neptune is your, Romance and adventure, Pluto's your reality check. I want to go there. You can't afford it. Or there's a war going on there. Or this is going on there. Now that Pluto's coming back to the outermost planet, the dreams are coming there. People want to travel everywhere, but there's a cost. There's a lot of danger. And what's the reality? Where are you going? What's real news? Has there ever been? So it's hard to see them working the fantasy and the reality, the belief in God and the disbelief in God almost at the same place. You know, like, or as they predominate, which predominates. So, on this level, you could argue the last part, the last 25 years or 22 years of the last century was vision was more predominant than reality, the dream, the build up of the web, the things, these were all vision more. Now, Pluto's, um, that was when, no, excuse me, the other way around. From the, Pluto was inside the orbit of Neptune and reality of power of consciousness of setting up the web as a powerful thing as a mechanical tool to connect to check everything all the mechanics of things going on very Plutonian 
And but Neptune came inside the orbit of the Earth, and that and it sort of shortcutted and made the belief system stronger than the yeah than the than the, than the control. And then it came back where. Sorry, nothing was outside Pluto. Was the reality was there. The power structure was set, and the beliefs got put in the back line. Then, as the World Wide Web came in, it started to be more. As it got back in place, the Pluto started affecting the Neptune rather than the Neptune affecting it. So they switched around, and there's different shifts in how this happened out in the world. And these would be the transits for certain people. They would be in the birth charts of people. So people are born to live with this. And both factors from these other planets can get come together. They're not stable factors. They force changes. They're all fighting above and beyond the normal Saturn levels of respect and honor. So I put that as global concerns. In a mystical sense, it's getting so. Many people go on the web, they find so many things, they know a little bit about all different religious concepts, but they don't have any real deep experience about anything. So we're gonna to come to a place where you meet your spiritual muscles personally, not on the web. That'll be the social TV side of it. And you're lucky if you run across a spiritual master and you have to come into his world or her world and be the apprentice and learn it that way. And it's gonna become more underground for a while while the World Wide Web is going up. The inside thing, there's something more than that in the world. There's an inner reality too. So basically, you don't work with Uranus, Neptune, and Neptune to Pluto, or Pluto to Neptune in the in the natal as in the natal chart. They'll show in the houses of the chart, they'll show that they're together, but you're not gonna make much sense out of the it's just more if they're stressful or not stressfully connected. It may have some social implications that come down, how it affects a person, but it's hard to say it. Theoretically, you have to get down to individual experiences and examples to show how this works. So, okay, this is the end of Neptune. Um, next, next week we're doing Pluto. And then the following week, we're gonna do the four angles. And that will be the end of our session. So we got two more weeks. Um, yeah, thank you. And I'll talk to you then. And, uh, Gino, you know, if you want to call me, you can call me in a couple of minutes. That'll be fine. I'm trying to get back to you. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.